Hey, it's Kevin Lyman, and you're on Rock Forever Magazine. Hey guys, it's Tori from Rock Forever Magazine, and I am here with the founder of Warp Tour, Kevin Lyman. How are you doing today? Thanks. Sorry to hold you up today. I've just been a little crazed at the end of the tour trying to wrap Literally, things up, so glad to be here. I saw you hustling this morning. I mean, not only are you the founder, but you don't make that as an excuse. You're out there working. Yeah, you know? I mean, I believe, you know, for me, it's also now, you know, it's kind of you get in the mix. It's your mm -hmm. your bit, your thing, and, you know, I can't really change it now. I guess, you know, the success of Warp Tour, you know, some people say, are you going to slow down with it or anything? And I, you know, it's two months. I, you know, two months, and I've, I've lost like 10 pounds and get a little bit more back in shape and I can go sit there behind a computer go. the rest of the year. There you go, looking on the bright side. But then again, you do have Country Throwdown and Mayhem Festival well, as well. Th yeah, Country Throwdown on a little bit of a hiatus. Um, and uh, my Mayhem's right down the road in Austin today. Yes. And uh, they'll be up here in Dallas, I think, on uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. So we're kind of crisscrossing. Uh, we're, we're overwhelming the state of Texas today with, <laughs> yeah. uh, with rock and metal. And then, uh, I, you know, I've been really kind of focusing on uh, this uh, Rob Zombie haunted house we're doing, The Great American okay. Nightmare. And uh, That'll be for one month uh, opening up in Los Angeles. So we're pretty excited about Very that. Very exciting. But considering you really do work so much, how do you balance all of that work, give each festival the proper attention while also having a personal life? How does that work? Well, that's that's what I'm trying to balance right now. You know, I'm really excited about getting done. Uh, I mean, I have great, I've, I, you know, it's weird. It's it's, it's like, you know, I, I, I love being at home now. It used to be like I was kind of like that road gypsy and I love being mm -hmm. out here. But, you know, I like to get home. So, you know, I'm making plans at home. And the interesting thing for me, I'm, I'm getting all the emails because I'm getting ready to take my daughter down to college and oh. uh, you know but it is balancing it all and uh, it is what I do and uh, I'm very happy that I'm still able to do it so uh, I'll keep going until I'm you know people stop paying attention yes and I've noticed that your daughter is on warp tour with you I saw her on warped roadies so I guess that helps to you know keep everybody together. yeah the family it's been a fun summer you know my, my daughter now she's 18 she's kind of doing her thing out here working my younger daughter who just turned uh, 14 all of a sudden realized what the warp tour is about and so, <laughs> so I have my little militant vegan uh, girl now. Thank you, Christopher Drew. And, uh, you know, <laughs> she'll, she'll be out here working for PETA next year. <laughs> oh, well, that's awesome. No, I don't know. Blaming we'll Christopher <laughs> Drew for all of this. Yes. But, but after experiencing so many festivals, I feel like there's such a sense of community here. Not only between all the fans, you know, helping each other out in the pit, but also between the bands from what it seems. Yeah. So why do you think there's something so different about Warp Tour that so many other concerts and festivals don't have? Well, I think it's been instilled from the beginning. You know, I, I try to say we're, they're all musicians. Everyone out here is a musician. Mm -hmm. You may, they not, may not play the music you're playing and everything, but you, you know, especially in this time and era, you need to uh, pull together. Yeah. Uh, if music's going to re it's regrowing, it's being rebirthed. Everyone said the downfall of music business. Music business is healthier than ever. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of people have to pull together. And now uh, Warp Tour is currently in the United States, but you're also branching out. You know, you're going to the UK and Australia. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's re going back to them. We yeah. used to go back in the mid '90s, uh -huh. uh, right when I started the Warp Tour. We went around the world many times, uh, but I thought the opportunity was right. It's kind of pulling this community that we have going on so strong in the United mm -hmm. States, pulling it into other countries, and kids follow along online. On you know things yeah. like uh, you know uh, rock forever and all your things they're always watching you guys and <laughs> and, and, recorders often too. and you can watch that around the world yeah. you know you can watch those things around the world and uh, you know it, it's was a great opportunity to go and uh, you know yeah, it's fun I get to go back to it's a little different now you know I get to go down to Australia we're not gonna sleep in tents across Australia oh. but which was a lot of fun the first time so have you thought about branching out to other countries potentially? Uh, you know, I, I, I might have, you know, we're doing Holland, Germany, Switzerland, and Austria this year in, on the UK and Australia. But then I'm starting to get my, my time away from home is stretching out again. So I'm going to have to really make some conscientious decisions about what, how far I want to go with this. Yes. And I loved watching Warped Roadies. Mm -hmm. um, since it happened kind of like fall, winter, it was kind of like when I was missing Warp Tour, I got to watch it again, you know? Yeah. We, we thought that that was kind of cool. There'll be season two coming out. And yeah. Uh, that is my it's been question. filmed out here, and it'll be out uh, and probably debuting in around that December time, awesome. right when we start getting ready to announce a lot of our special things we're hoping to do for the 20th anniversary yeah. coming up next year. Definitely got a lot of people sticking, staying tuned because you were doing the band announcements on there, yeah. so that was yeah, awesome. It all comes down to marketing, kids. There you have it. But what is it like for you guys to be filming Warped Roadies on the road? I mean, is it... Is everything we see on camera really what's happening? Or yeah, I mean, it, the first year, yes. I think that you know they're going to do some different things this year. They're, they're taking some different storylines and things. But okay. the first year, I think they came out here with one idea, how to shoot a show and left with a, a whole other show. Hmm. And we'll see what they come up with in season two. 
So anything you can tell us about season two yet? I mean, uh, I know you're kind of like still in the middle of work. I, I don't know. But... You know, there's a lot of storylines going on and then they'll wrap up over the next couple of days and, and they'll start the editing. But, you know, you shoot hundreds and hundreds of hours of footage in it and it yeah. gets broken down to really like five hours. That's true. So you can't really tell it's going to make it into yeah. the show yet. For a lot of new bands, one of the main goals is to be on Warped Tour, be on the lineup. Yeah. So what does it take for a new band to get on the lineup? Well, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's interesting because the majority of the bands won't be getting on the Warped Tour lineup. It's sad. There's thousands and thousands and thousands of bands out there. They're really good. There's a lot of really good bands. Um, I'm looking for a very, very eclectic lineup and very specific things I'm looking for. Um, mm -hmm. And um, I think we've achieved that over the last couple of years. And, yeah. uh, you know, we're sitting here today at the end of the tour in Dallas. And at the beginning of the tour, a lot of the promoters were like, who are these bands? They didn't even know them. And I go, by the end of the summer, this tour is going to be red hot on fire. And uh, the kids have spoken. Today is a huge show for us down yes. here. Definitely a lot of people They're here today. All here at doors, all ready to go. Thank you guys. Ooh. You keep us on our toes. There's no messing <laughs> around. It's like we got to be ready right at, you know, actually early. We open at 10:30 now, half hour early to get yeah, it. Yeah, I've been noticing that. Yeah. But um, one thing I love about Warp Tour is that you're bringing awareness to a lot of charities and really cool causes. Uh, a lot of tents on Warp Tour. Uh, awesome for that. Um, so can you tell us a little more about who you've been supporting this well, year? Well, you know, it just continues to grow. You know, mm -hmm. our, you know, I believe that, you know, once I was going to be a school teacher, I thought that's what I'd go do after the music business and now mm -hmm. I think we've kind of created potentially one of the largest classrooms in the, in the country you know that's five five hundred thousand people and, and 450,000 are just coming to run around in circles and have fun which is great that's what really a music festival is about but uh -huh. you know I'd say 50,000 kids are touched by things by you know music saves lives the blood yeah. drives uh, music cares what we do to help musicians in need yeah. uh, to write love on their arms invisible children uh, keep abreast and uh, you know PETA too and now you know we're bringing up more and more uh, young char charities and local charities and uh, the kids come in and I think if 10% of the kids do you know walk out of here doing something else it's pretty cool yeah that's awesome and there is such an amazing lineup this year so what bands have been standing out to you I know you don't maybe not want to pick favorites no but. you know I mean I was really you know happy to you know have an artist like Jim Wigmore out here just really cool mm -hmm. eclectic vibe and she's totally cool we kidnapped her the other night and took her <laughs> took her to a lake yesterday and had a nice day with her uh, Echo Smith, watching her on stage yes. grow into a, a force and uh, watching her voice. Uh, I, I mean, she's going to be frightening in two, when she's 18 about how what her presence can grow into you know the, the last time i saw a presence like that was uh Haley williams you know yeah. as a young girl on a small stage out here and they started on warp tour basically yeah basically the same kind of thing on a smaller stage kind of worked their way up you know and then you watch you know you wander around and you're just kind of like looking at all these bands you know the crown of the empires and these kind of yeah. bands and, and then seeing a band that like legitimately turn into a headliner yeah uh you're watching sleeping with sirens that has gone from this band that you know kind of bubbly and now <laughs> i mean they're a force and memphis totally. may fire and even like you know bands like bless the fall i think when i booked bless the fall on the tour some people questioned whether they should be on the main stage <laughs> and uh Bo brought it and the band brought it and they Absolutely. deserve to be out there i agree with that definitely a lot of amazing bands but those were a good little list there and I think this is the question everybody's wondering. Have you been brainstorming the 2014 lineup yet? And who do you want to see? Oh, yeah, it's absolutely brainstorming. You know, I sit on my bus all night and don't oh, wow. sleep. And then I, um, I don't sleep a lot on tour. Yeah. But, you know, looking at the audiences and watching the crowds and listening to what's kind of going on. Um, you know, I'm outlining some of the, you know, some of the ideas. And people, don't worry, they, they're all coming to me. But really what I'll do now is uh, wait till Labor Day. Labor Day, I don't need to do it in August. I need to go enjoy myself. I need to kind of get myself back together and then start focusing focusing on it then and if someone has to make a decision about next summer this early then I always say just go do that if you have something better to do than Warped Tour go ahead and do it mm -hmm. and last question here considering that you oversee pretty much everything that's happening on Warped Tour over the years what has been the absolute number one craziest most memorable moment of Warped Tour uh, I hope that's still to come Oh, you know, but I don't know. Oh, we we have, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't look back. I'm not a person that looks back. I learn from past, uh -huh. uh, you know, and hitting these giant storms and some of the things I'm watching going on with weather is, you know, that's really my day to day biggest fear and almost some of the biggest excitement watching Mother Nature in some ways. Yeah, definitely being an outside festival yeah. can have its uh, unexpected moments. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for hanging thank out. You. It was really great talking to you. Talking to you. Take yes. care. Best of success. Yes. Everybody watching, subscribe for more interviews. We'll see you next time. Bye.